Hey guys, Almatras here, just coming at you with a tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Steam trading card bot. And this will be for uh, Steam trading cards and Counter-Strike uh, CSGO keys. So, basically this is the bot that I have made at the minute. I tried to find other tutorials for this out there, but there seemed to be one half-finished tutorial from another YouTuber. I uh, forget who that was. And uh, he kind of half done the tutorial and said he was going to finish it in like a week, but he never did. So I thought like that that was a little bit popular and people were wanting the second video so i thought why not just make a full tutorial um on my channel so i thought i would do that this is the bot that i set up earlier i should just set that up earlier uh with a spare steam account i had uh, so i can show you how it works um i haven't set up everything yet I, I haven't showed like a description of fully what to do or anything so if i click send a message if i uh, just type in hey or something here say command not recognized use uh help so i will do help and it basically just explains to the user how exactly to use this so if i want to buy um if i want to buy 18 sets and i have one key i would type buy one and uh, it would do that processing your request trade sent confirming it and this is this is all automatic as well you don't need to have your computer on to do this you can set it so that you're uh, locally uh, hosting it but i have i have this set up in a vps and i'll show, show you how to do that so as you can see, a trade offer has come in here for exactly 18 sets, as you can see. It'll come up here as well, where uh, the, the trade link is. So uh, if, I, if I go in here, I can accept this. And yeah, it just sets up everything for you. Then I can set a, a custom message to comment on their profile after they've traded with me. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna show you fully how to set all this up right now today. So uh, first thing you want to do is go into the description and get the actual files for this. Uh, this is the link here. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't code this myself. This is uh, whoever, whoever this belongs to. Thank you, uh, whoever this is. So uh, download zip. Let's download it. Show in folder. Uh, I'm just going to move this over to the desktop just to make it easier so you guys can see it. Uh, we're going to need a few other files as well. I'm just going to show you them all now. FileZilla, Putty. Uh, no JS, just install that, and uh, Notepad++ plus plus is optional, but it makes everything much, much easier. So I'm just going to close all this down here. Go into this. Uh, you guys will know how to, uh, how to do all this. Extract here. Yes, then. Uh, honestly, just delete this license. Um, extract here. Then we're no longer going to need this file either. Um, so this is basically your uh, your files here so basically what we're going to want to do first is go to settings then go to config and uh, edit with no plus plus so as you can see in here we have everything in here so um for your username uh i actually have like a secretary like a wee account that i just created yesterday password can be anything blah 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 so shared secret i'm going to show you how to do most of this but i'm not actually going to set up the bot because i don't have a spare account to set it up with and i don't really want to show you um my own details uh oh sorry i forgot uh, another file that you're going to need is steam desktop authenticator i'm going to link that in the description as well just install that and go to here so basically wherever you have this installed i have it installed in documents i believe uh, so basically go to it there SDA blah 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 there and uh, so basically what you do in this set up new account username password you can just follow the instructions it's simple enough you guys don't know how to do it um, go to MA files here within uh, the SDA folder and uh, so basically if yours is the only account in here oh by the way this is a uh, steam desktop authenticator this is instead of the mobile authenticator this is uh just to get the details about your account so that you can uh, externally host this and that it auto confirms so um basically for me that account that i set up yesterday is here so i can just go out no plus 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 and uh, if you have multiple accounts you can actually just look at them and go right there and the username will be there so as you can see alma use 333 so uh Busy. what you're going to want to do is fill this in. I can just take you through this just to make sure you don't get it wrong. Shared secret is right first one here. So you just copy that in. Copy and paste that into there. Identity secret. Just copy and paste the identity secret into there as well. There we go. And uh, Steam API key. So basically what you do is uh, Chrome. Uh, Steam API key. 
this here. Okay guys, so when you reach this page on your own account, it should come up here with a uh, API key or that you can get a new API key. This is the API key will be here that you want. I uh, just don't want to do it on my normal account. Um, so you're gonna come in here and copy and paste this API key in here. Invite to group ID. This is basically uh, the group ID. Uh, you, you could have like a, a Steam group set up with uh, like a community for your uh, people that are using your trade bots. It, this will automatically invite them to join the group uh, if they add you and trade with you. Uh, play games. So basically in here, as you can see, uh, it comes up that I'm in game, level up service 18 to one. So you could change that to whatever you want. It, it would come up in game, card bot. So uh, in game level up service and uh, you know like 18 to 1 or whatever your rate is there um and so comment after trade this will be uh, the comment on the user's profile with uh you know just thanks for trade whatever and uh max hours added okay this is just when it deletes someone if they haven't used the bot that doesn't really matter just keep it the way it is admins so for admins here just type in what am i doing Admins in here, Malmatras, uh, keys from game, uh, just keep that the way it is, uh, that's just to stop spam, that's fine. Uh, buy one key for amount of sets, so this is the amount um, of sets that someone will get if they give you a key, so I'm just going to type in 18 there, and give one key per amount of sets. This is if people are selling, now not everyone can sell. So I'm just gonna set that price to 21. Then people that can sell. So basically what you would do, you, you would wanna put in your own Steam ID there. Basically anyone that wants to sell to the bot, you would uh, have them give you your Steam 64, their Steam 64, sorry, and uh, uh, j just pop that in in the people can sell and uh, they would be able to sell to the bot as well. Hello guys, one thing that I actually forgot to mention was if you uh, do not, if you keep that the way it is, your bot will not work. You need to input, just input your own Steam ID 64 in there. You can find that on steamrep.com. And uh, if you go here, your Steam 64 will be there. So just copy and paste that number in there. Your bot will not work if you keep that the way it is. I forgot to mention that. So you must change that for your bot to work. Uh, so basically, you can just set your own messages here. This is all. Uh, this is all standard. This is all fine. Uh, no, it's it's all like you know, no broken English or anything. That's that's all fine. You can keep that the way it is. Uh, sell help. Uh, you you can just put in like contact my owner if you want to sell or whatever. If you don't want to have that, all these are all fine. This is all fine here. Accepted keys. And uh, let's see, actually, there might be new keys. If there's new keys, you can add them in there. Um, that's just standard. I'm not sure when this uh, code was made. So you're gonna wanna save that now, once you've filled everything in. Quit off that. And if I can find it. Where is it? It's on desktop. Uh, if we go back in here, uh, we click install. You would click install on this, and then you would click start. And uh, once you click start, basically this would run, it would come up, everything was fine, and then your bot would come online, and you would be able to do everything that you could do. So basically now guys, I'm going to show you how to set it up on a VPS so your computer doesn't have to be running all the time, and I'll be right back for that. Hello guys, and welcome back. Now I'm going to show you how to set up uh, this uh, card bot on a VPS. So we're going to be using DigitalOcean, this is by far the best VPS. If you guys actually click on the link down below, it will be my referral link for DigitalOcean. And uh, if you deposit $5 on the DigitalOcean, whenever you're setting it up, then you'll get another $10 for free. So that's $15. They'll host your bot for three months for $5, which is pretty good. So you should really go and check that out down below in the description. So basically what you're going to want to do is create the account, get some money into it. And uh, once you do that, you're ready to go. So if you come to here, it should actually come up. You don't have droplets. Create one now. I've already got one for this previous uh, bot that I own. Uh, just click create droplet. Yeah, so basically we're going to want to come over here and go to one click apps. Then scroll down and find node.js. This is the one that you're going to want to be using. It depends. It could be a new version out. Uh, 6.10.3. It could be a new version if you're using this. And just go for $5 a month is fine. Select wherever. Probably New York's the best one. And we're just going to do bot2. Click create. 
Okay guys, so this is set up. So once this is set up, you're gonna wanna go to the IP address here and you're gonna wanna copy the IP address. Then next, you're gonna wanna go into PuTTY first. So open PuTTY, type in the IP address here and click open. Now this will pop up the first time you go into this. Click yes here, log in as root. The password will be on the email that they will send to your account, your email address. So I'm just gonna quickly get that now and I'm gonna type in the uh, password and uh, get this something going here. Okay, hello guys, so I'm back. So basically once you get your password and type it in, it will make you uh, change your password here, uh, just for security reasons. So now you're in this page. So basically what you're gonna wanna do first is type in npm install minus g forever. And what this will do will allow your bot to run uh, busy forever without uh, having uh, your computer on without shutting down or while when you shut down this window they, uh, the bot will still run so once you've done that you can quit off this yes okay guys so now what you're going to want to do is go to filezilla and you're going to want to type in your uh, ip address here the username will be root the password will be whatever you set your password to in putty and the port is 22 quick connect so now basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the root folder and once you've t uh, clicked on root I can find where the files are yeah simply go on to here and you're literally just going to want to paste copy and paste or drag it from here into here and you're going to want to just put that all into the root folder so that'll take a little while to transfer and once transferred I will be right back Okay, never mind. It <laughs> transferred pretty quickly. Uh, I thought I, I took ages earlier. Now, so basically, once all these files are in here, you're going to want to exit off this. You're going to want to go onto Putty. You're going to want to type in the IP again. Just log in again. And so basically, what you're going to want to type in now is you're going to want to type in npm i. Okay, guys, so whenever that's loaded, you're going to want to come on here again and you're going to want to type in forever start index.js so basically what this does is this starts your bot and if you have set up everything correctly the bot will uh, come on to in game now i'm just going to pretend that this is the bot obviously it isn't this is a separate thing but i just need to show you how to set this up so that you can follow along so if i exit off that close the session yes that is going to continue to run the bot so say you want to change one of the files um while the bot is running. So basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is go back to FileZilla, log in. And so basically what you can do here is uh, you can go in and actually go into your settings here, go into your config, you can view slash edit on here. Um, and basically you can uh, change all this in here. Uh, I'll show you actually guys you need to you need to go into edit and settings and then you're gonna need to go into file type associations if you want notepad dot uh, uh, if you want notepad plus plus to open uh, up for js files which you'll need for that you're just gonna want to type in this command here I'll put that down in the description as well js uh, that's that's basically the uh, the path to notepad plus plus for js files it shows you how to do it in there but if you guys don't really know what you're doing then you might want to just copy and paste that in there and once you do that Basically, before uh, before you do that, you want you want to just stop the bot. So you want to just log on, and you would just simply type in forever stop index js, and that will stop your bot for you. You can configure, you can change whatever you want in this, and then whenever you're ready to start it again to run forever, you would just type in forever start index js, and it is literally as easy as that you would close down this and once you close down this you close down this uh, the bot will run automatically by itself on DigitalOcean and you don't need to worry about keeping leaving your computer running or anything like that what you want to do after that is just simply get your uh, stock get everything in and start building from there so guys thanks for watching this tutorial that is the end it wasn't actually a very long tutorial to do the whole thing I don't know why it was so hard for someone else to do it but Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider joining my group using the car bot. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.